Today we're out at a flat roofing project that we are contracting in Champlain, Minnesota. What is interesting and unique about this is the architectural layout of this property and the usage of a flat roof and an inclined roof on it. Uh, the system that we are installing on this property is a 60 mil fully adhered EPDM flat roof and or otherwise known as a rubber roof. And I have Jordan here, one of our project consultants at North Face Construction, to talk a little bit further about the components of a fully adhered flat roof. The reason being is Jordan used to uh, work in the union and do this uh, for a number of years. So Jordan, can you tell and inform people of the different components of a flat roof? Yes, sir. So in a flat roof, you generally see the taper system, which focuses on the scuppers here. It's how the water leaves the roof. Uh, so first things first is getting down that taper system onto your decking. From there, you're gonna screw down uh, generally about, I'd say, 15 to 20 plates and screws per board. Uh, after you screw down, you get out your, uh, your EPDM, then you glue down. Again, main focus is having the Cricut system go towards the scupper. After you're done gluing, you're gonna come back and kick up your seams. Then you're gonna uh, prime your seams up and you're good to go. So it sounds like a pretty simple process, but not so simple. No. So there are some small detailed things, especially when you get along the, the walls, the corners, and all those types of things. Again, I cannot stress the scupper and the pitch system enough. If you don't have enough pitch to your system, it will not drain. You will have standing water on So kind of what you're getting at, I mean, you're talking the rougher jargon for sure. So <laughs> I'll, I'll elaborate on that. So a pitch system, a pitch would obviously be the angle of the roof. So typically flat roofs aren't really flat. No, no. There's always going to be some sort of pitch in there. And when coming to flat roofing, you're de generally going to call it a tapered system. The tapered system is always going to focus on the scupper. Mm -hmm. So the scuppers, any downspout, any water management, and it's always going to want to slope off just like a standard roof, but just not as visually. You can't, you can't see, see the it, really. you can't see the pitch as much. It's flat to the naked eye. Once you get on the roof, if you were to bring a pitch gauge up here, there's going to be a slight pay, uh, pitch towards the draining system. Mm -hmm. And one interesting fact that I know off the cuff after doing a number of these roofs over the years is one thing that a lot of manufacturers say is, you know, they can be a really, really low pitch, but it must not have standing water within 48 hours after a rain event is kind of the litmus test on whether it's code compliant. Some situations do not allow for there to be a pitch. This might be on a back patio with a door and not enough rise to put the pitch on. However, if it's a small enough area, enough sun exposure, and it does not have water after 48 hours, then you're good to go. So that's the basics of a standard flat roof. Uh, like I said, this is a 60 mil thickness, fully adhered rubber roof, or otherwise known as EPDM. This homeowner chose to do this roof in combination with a full remodel of the interior to protect their investment that they're putting inside. And they trusted us to take care of it. We're very thankful for them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it informative for your next flat roofing project in Minnesota. And thank you, Jordan, for your expertise, bringing that to the table for these people to learn from. Make sure to reach out to North Face Construction with your next flat roofing project. Take care.